subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon to never miss an update from Endeavor Careers. Hi, welcome to the strategy session for IAFT 2018. Now, before we start with the strategy session, let's first point down some facts about this exam. IFT 2018 would be conducted on the first Sunday of December for all the three campus that is Delhi, Kolkata and Kakinara. Now, this particular exam is exactly after one week of CAT. It means majority of the CAT takers would definitely apply for IAFT 2. IAFT in India is among the first or so that is the top colleges for MBA in international business and have an opportunity to many international placements also. In India, more than 50,000 students takes up IAFT examination for approximately 420 seats in Delhi as well as Kolkata. So when we calculate the success ratio, it is approximately 120 students is to one. That is out of 120 students, one student makes it to the IAFT and thus it becomes a competitive examination after CAT and therefore it becomes very important to know the exam strategy if you want to increase your chances of getting admission to one of the top colleges. Now IAFT is a paper based exam which is one of the few exam which is now left a paper based because majority of the exams are turned online. IAFT exam strategy if you want to get it right you need to understand and solve or should I say go through at least four to five papers of the previous year. Now IAFT is known for its non-standardized exam. It means the examination, marking system, even the number of questions per section are different every year and they never disclose the paper pattern before the exam. What I mean to say is IAFT has a history of maintaining a differential uh, paper pattern and differential marking systems. So when I'm talking about a variable marking system, it clearly means we had a paper in the past which had a random weightages like 0.84 for a particular section and the same had a 0.74 for a particular section. A GK uh, section may have a weightage of 0.3 marks per question or certain times if I talk about last year, it also had a weightage of 1 to 0.5 marks weightage. So it clearly means one thing that the examination in 2018 would may or may not be a standard examination like same as IAFT 2017. Yes, it is a challenge and yes, it is also a challenge for those students who are planning only on the standardized examination format. Now, if we see the paper pattern of IAFT 2017 that is last year, it had six sections. Previously in 2015 and 14, there were respectively four sections so in 2017 two sections were demerged to form four the number of questions are 114 but still this is not fixed what i mean to say is the number of question in ift can somewhere between 110 to maybe 130 questions but yes from the past few years the total marks are 100 negative mark last year was one third of the total marks allocated if you see the table carefully different sections had different marks and a different number of questions so general awareness total 9 marks for the session that is 0.5 marks per question and 18 questions verbal ability logical reasoning and quant had 20 questions and 1 marks each rc were 16 questions and 1 marks each whereas data interpretation were 20 questions of 0.75 marks each which made up to 15 marks in a session so total number of marks 100 and 114 questions to be solved in two hours of time. So what we want to say is IFT 2018 may not be the same paper pattern as 2017. One must analyze four to five papers and understand the marking system and the paper pattern to get acquainted to the paper style of IFT. Along with that, IFT paper pattern itself is a DI set which a student needs to solve before starting up the paper. It means now if I take the scoring trend of IIFT, understanding 4 to 5 years, all the papers were out of 100. But if you really want to get a call from an IIFT for the second round of GDPI, you need to understand IIFT scoring pattern has two major uh, aspects. The first major aspect, you have to get an overall score. 
and second is you have to get a sectional minimum right yes sectional minimum and not a total overall sectional cutoff now first if we talk about overall cutoff generally iaft overall cutoff is somewhere around 33 to 50 marks out of 100 it purely depends on the level of difficulty of the paper so obviously if the level of difficulty is less the cutoff may go higher however when we are talking about the sectional cutoff or should i say sectional minimum it does not vary much and does not depend a lot on uh, level of difficulty of paper for example uh, if i talk about iaft last year the sectional uh, minimum required to clear or to get a call for a quant section or a, a reasoning section would be around 4 to 5 marks out of the total given. If I talk about a DI, it would be somewhere around 2 to 3 marks, a GK may be 1 or 2 marks, uh, verbal ability would be around 4 to 5 marks and uh, reading comprehension would be around 2 to 3 marks. So if you see the total of all this sectional minimum may be somewhere around 23 marks that is a maximum marks but when I am talking about the overall cutoff it may not be 23 it can be somewhere around 35 to 36 or maybe more maybe 40 marks or maybe 45 marks depends on the level of difficulty of the paper. So understand for an IAFT understanding this particular aspects of getting a call that is maintaining and sectional minimum in all the sections as well as crossing the border of overall cutoff is very important if you really want to get a call from IAFT. Now based on this trend let us form the right exam strategy. Step 1 would be clearly running after the sectional minimum cutoffs. So when I am talking about sectional minimum cutoffs how do we obtain that? First get into the section which is you are comfortable that is your strength. Get the early 4-5 marks as per the requirement and move on to the next section get again four to five marks move to the next section maybe if it is gk get around two to three questions right or maybe around four to five questions right to get minimum one or two marks move on to the next section for this you will be getting approximately 23 to 25 marks at the end of approximately 45 minutes to around 55 to 60 minutes of time so here at least you will have a mental satisfaction and that you have crossed the minimum barrier to get a call and now running to the step 2 which is you have to get the maximum marks out of the section which actually suits your strengths during step 1 that is utilizing around 45 to 50 minutes of your time you must have also realized which of the given sections were less difficult or a more difficult or an easy section now this is the knowledge you will utilize for the step 2 to increase your score that is overall performance or overall score. Now once you have done with the step 1, step 2 is nothing but getting the maximum out of your particular section. So if I am good at mathematics or quantitative aptitude or a data interpretation, I will get into these two sections and get maximum out of it. So if there are 20 questions, I will try to get 12 to 13 questions correct and move on to the next easier section. So in this way, moving on to all the sections, I am trying to get more around 15 to 20 marks depends on the level of difficulty to break the overall cutoff. Please don't have a pre, uh, preconceived notion about uh, what should be the cutoff or what should be uh, the right cutoff. The basic idea here is to give your best performance in the next hour to get the maximum output. This exam strategy has three major performance areas. First knowing the paper pattern it means after analyzing four to five years of papers there are high chances that it may be something different than what you have thought yes if there is something outrageous like we had a section like analytical reasoning which may be of a one marker and it has a higher weightage compared to last year yes and yes there are high chances that it may be an easy section so make sure you solve these kind of sections and get the maximum marks out of it second thing it's Fetch your sectional minimum scores in approximately 45 to 55 or maybe an hour's time depending on your accuracy and get that early 23-24 marks and later on try to maximize your scores depending on the level of difficulty of the paper. All this analysis is purely based on past year's paper analysis. If there is something different this year, we are sure that you will be equipped to take care of that. I hope 
uh, this video helps you to get the right exam strategy we, we wish you all the best for IFT 2018 make sure you rock the admission year 2019